Bam! Guess who's back? It's time for part three of the Angel Wings gameplay walkthrough. Um, this episode, we actually find out some more information about someone that might change the way you look at them. To find out who that is, you're going to have to stay tuned. As always, like and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Get down with the stoops. Let's go! Hey, you should get punched in the face again. Interactive act. I mean, th th this guy's saying obvious stuff. Basketball seems more like an interactive activity. I mean, I could have told you that. That um, you know, you're really saying some obvious stuff. Like, hey, basketball seems active. And in other news, hey, milk is made out of cows. Did you know that? This this guy, this guy. Ah, <sighs> why did they make me play with a loser? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Have you even played? Do you even know how to do the AI cross or the you know the 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 Tim Hardaway, the U-Step. Is that what it is? I don't know. Hmm? Oh, you are about to get schooled, bro. Oh, they're about to school you. Oh, man, they're about to break your ankles. This is about to be embarrassing for you, buddy. I barely know the rules of basketball other than knowing I should put the ball in the basket. That's in the name. That's something I should know, I guess. Wrecking Havoc. Is that what she's doing? Wrecking Havoc. With quick drives, cuts, and layups. Listen, you didn't know basketball. Now you know about cuts. Actually, you know, be like, oh, she's 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 jumping off for the off-screen three-pointer. Like, I thought she didn't know the game, bro. Lactic acid? That's what you choose? Yes, clearly this guy doesn't know how to play basketball. First of all, this is what's funny about these games is if somebody tells somebody that in the game, like, hey, shift, shift left, the guy's going to go the opposite direction. Like, that's just kind of like common sense when you're playing. I don't know the skill level of these people. Competition, boy. Clearly. Man. Listen, these are stupid decisions. This guy does not know the game basketball. Why would you try to score? Clearly, you got to let her score. Clearly, according to what you saw, she is like the reincarnation of Wilt Chamberlain. That's basically what you saw. So... Why would you try to be, according to me reading, you haven't even shot anything. So why would you try to be the guy to score? This kind of reminds me of the Indiana Pacers um, when somebody else sh shot the shot and Paul George said, nobody else on this team should be taking the last shot but me. And he had a point. It's Paul George. Like, what you know, he's the best player on the team. He should be taking the last shot. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and defer to Ciola James and let her, uh, or Sola, however you say your name, and let her go ahead and put that work. There you go. 
Hey, listen. I'm ready. Listen, listen, man. Listen, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how great I am at these type of plays. Let's talk about it. You know? Hey, listen. You you couldn't do that. I mean, I would hope after this, because myself, I'm such a big fan of basketball. Back when I was actually in shape, I used to play ball all the time. So I would hope this kind of inspires this guy to actually play and learn the game of basketball rather than just taking up space on the court. Oh, they hit you with a different cam ring. Okay. All right, let me take this out real quick. Take the text out real quick. And let me just say that um, we just ran a full court game. Why does she not have any sweat on her? Does that even... She has no sweat. I'm looking for it. I don't see it. I just wish, and again, I know this is like, you know, one of those games. I wish they kind of had some attention to detail because outside of the sweat on her body, which clearly would be there, there's no sweat on the shirt. Like the shirt isn't even drenched. She looked like she just got done walking out of the mall and ended up buying something. Like she spent a whole day at the mall just chilling, just shopping, window shopping. That's basically what she kind of looked like she has going on right now. You were amazing. Of course. Autograph. Oh, she's actually somewhat of a celebrity. What is she, like a WNBA star or something? Clearly. Okay, that's how they try to get away with it right there. She looks fresh as ever. Okay, okay. Attention to detail, no big deal. You must be rusty. Tell her you never played. You just got a number. With your people and we talk. Listen, man. That's how he does it. That's how he does it right there. This guy go ahead and be a straight up loser and he somehow still gets a number. That's how he does it. Proud of you, man. She's into you. That's a very sexist statement, but go ahead. Getting achievements in this game, you know, hey. Steady hum of the AC. I still want to know how many people live in this house. That still hasn't been explained. Like, I see, let me see the number. It's her, the other two, three, I think there's like five that they accounted for. Um, I wish we had a final count. for at least 30 seconds. Get out of people's business, man. What work do you need to do? What work? You haven't done work since this whole thing started. What work do you need to do? Explain it to me. How, Sway? What's that? He's, he's, it's not like he was writing raps. Okay, let me find out. Let me find out you got the bars. You know, she's a celebrity. Maybe that's why she wanted your contact info. She's trying to, you know, get get a feature on an album or something. It's way better than art class. You were sitting in art class watching Professor X tell you about the Mona Lisa when you could have been dropping buckets and balling for days. Hmm. This guy's clearly lonely. Let's play again tomorrow. Okay, listen, man. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Listen, I'm kind of invested in this game, and I'll tell you why. Because this guy is clearly such a loser. He really is. And we've all been there. We've all gotten to a point where we've, 
you know, not necessarily loser to the extent of him, but we've all been at that that particular point where you're learning how to how to talk to, you know, whoever your love interest is and not even love interest. That should be the wrong word, but whoever you're attracted to or, or a girl, girl, male, whatever it is, you're learning how to talk to them and you end up doing things that you end up regretting. Like, hey, I sent a triple text. I shouldn't have done that. Learning experience. Hey, I look a little bit thirsty. I shouldn't do that. Learning experience. I hope this is his learning experience right here. He's going to end up doing something and it's going to end up uh, kind of messing him up in the long run. We'll see what happens. Bro, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Listen, man. All right, so this is the decision, right? He said that he doesn't mind basketball. So I think about it. I picked that I wanted to work on courage. So part of courage is you got to make more def. You got to be more definite with your answers. You got to be way more, you know, way more definite with your answers and how you want to go about, you know, handling situations. So I'll think about it is not the right way to go about it. The answer is sure. There you go. She said, awesome. I find it funny. That's the end of the conversation though. You just got friend zoned by a local NBA celebrity or something. You're all up in the friend zone. Caught up in the friend zone. Caught up in the friend zone. Oh, you're still going to art class? Oh, so you're just interested in the redhead. Listen, um, again, navigating things that you got to be used to, you, you know, navigating things you end up learning. So clearly he's going to art class just to talk to girls. And you know what? It's kind of a creep thing. It's kind of like guys who, like I said earlier, it's kind of like the guys who go to feminist marches and pretend that they're feminists, but they really want to talk to women. Cause then it's a disrespect to the guys who are actually out there supporting the cause. Um, or the feminists who are actually out there, you know, supporting the cause like this, this guy's one of those black cherry lollipop. Yo, your, your explanations are wild, bro. Your, your, your uh, descriptions, your adjectives are crazy. Oh, I hit you with the piano. Man, you should have wore the 13s. You should have wore the Jordans. You're out here wearing the Skechers fives. Okay. Another easy situation. If you feel judged and you're going to wait for her to speak, clearly she's kind of awkward about the whole situation. You got to say hi. Why is it every single time in this game this person has a decision to make when he's saying hi? Like, that's why you need courage. Because, uh... You're over, you're over here overthinking hi yo imagine trying to set up a date with this guy like that would be that would be impossible for the lady I feel bad but we're gonna go ahead and say hi extended olive branch perhaps yes yo what up yo 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 they call me stupinions but stoops for short <laughs> yo quit playing quit playing quit playing that's what he said in his head and it came out hi my name is stupinions Of course, you said hi. Hiori, okay. Today will be, uh, what was it again? Man, your lessons are trash. So she's out there. She's just a troublemaker. She likes to go out there and just drink and smoke. Hey, man, nothing wrong with it. I mean, I, listen, I'm assuming this. I'm not familiar with, like, the culture over across seas. So I'm not sure if, like, smoking is a super bad thing. But I don't see nothing wrong with it. Oh, she would have called you out, boy. She like you going with that girl again yo clearly she's jealous all right so this is the decision you got to make right now i didn't realize she was even paying attention of course she did it oh 
whatever. <laughs> she has a bit of a unique reputation. I just thought I'd let you know, yo, whatever, and just walks out. This dude is this dude is overthinking everything. All right, be careful. Hey, I'll be careful. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. Really, what you want to say is like, yo, st- yo, stop judging people. Get out their business, but. out there writing what are you doing here you keep it's you're being out you're being unwelcome she didn't ask you to come here oh that's how you start your conversation off sick of them man so hey i'm gonna come out here and clearly she doesn't want you to be here in her hiding spot and the first thing you do is like hey i didn't picture you much of a smoker Dude, you're basically just judging her lifestyle. That's what you decide to do. She's about to snap on you, boy. I'm a bad and dangerous person, and you should stay far away. Okay. Um, They didn't really give me tone here, so I don't know if she's being serious or not. She could be like, I'm a bad and dangerous person, star away. And then you're like, <laughs> Yo, quit, quit playing, girl, quit playing. But um, I want to get to know you better. I want to get to know you. She'll be like, I don't want you to get to know me. You ready? Disgust. <laughs> wow. What do you usually do out here? Well, you clearly see it, right? I just do whatever. What does that mean? Bro, you're up in everybody's business. Comic book stylized cartoon. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. With another note. What's up with you in the secret ancient mob stuff? Like, why can't somebody have an overnight shift? You think people who work overnight at hotels and stuff like that are secret agents? Thank you. You're up in everybody's business, bro. Smartest decision you made without me having to intervene is not texting somebody and say, hey, what does the other girl do? Especially clearly when that person, you know, might might be into you. Oh, this is a beautiful morning right here. Complete opposite of what I got going on over here. It's uh, it's got a little rain out here in these streets. Celestial. What an adjective. Get your shit together, fam. (laughs) That's true. Oh, really? This time? You can't go wrong with scrambled eggs. That's what I've been saying. She's over here trying to feed you kibbles and bits when she had eggs in the fridge. Listen, scrambled eggs, red peppers, okay, piece of toast, avocado. Listen, listen, man, your, your criticism, you got to be honest with people and they end up going a long way. Look at that. That's a meal right there. I mean, you need some type of protein, so I'm assuming there's like bacon or something coming out with it, but hey. Oh. Yo, I hate these type of people. And listen, I know we got to focus on playing this game, but I hate these type of people. Don't assume everybody's going to be you know, vegan 
because you're vegan. Uh, don't assume anybody wants to try to experience that. Like, oh, this really tastes like eggs. No. Ask me. Yo, do you want vegan? You want to taste some vegan food? No. Because if somebody's vegan, I wouldn't be like, hey, taste this. Boom. Oh, that was made with the flesh of seven cows. <sighs> Sick of it, man. Sick of it. Oh, I see. I bet you do. That means you don't want to eat it. Oh, now you're going to lie to her? She going to ask, how is it? <sighs> they don't let me. They don't let me answer. Listen, this game preaches a lot of health being healthier, and I'm not mad at it because these guys go to the gym and then obviously the whole vegan thing. So, hey, preach, preach healthy, eating healthier. I know I need to. Um, so I'm not 100% mad at it. So let's see. The second, because uh, she didn't even give you a heads up. Why are you always in people's business? Late night phone shop? I might be with you on that whole mob thing, bro. It sounds to me like she might be in the adult entertainment field and she's not saying it. Twenty four hour phone shop. She needs cell phone at two AM. Eh, I guess you could. I guess it does make sense, you know? Mess one up at the club. <laughs> there you go. Exactly what I was saying. How many people just listen, let's talk about this. Listen. 24-hour phone shop? If my phone carrier was 24 hours, my wife would actually stop breaking her damn cell phone. What's up with you in this government thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So this is where I guess the game is going to start exploring your love interest. So, I mean, that's the whole point of dating games, right? And I know this is more than a dating game. It's more about isolation and that type of stuff. But um, you got to kind of pick your side and who you want. So obviously, clearly, she's asking this. If you stay stuff like a little, then it might lead to something. And then ultimately, if you pick two or three people, I haven't played this game yet, but I'm assuming that it would create a, like a triangle or something and it'll be bad. So... Nah. 